Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW X1 or X3, guys, with the four cylinder, okay, four cylinder gasoline engine, this is the 2.0 engine, guys, known as N20 engine, and you're trying to find TDC or top dead center point, guys, we'll show you how to do that. Many of you ask me how you do that because we make quite a few BMW videos, as you know, and uh, many of you probably don't even know that. Uh, this uh, engine has been used in uh, BMW X1, X3, uh, many other BMWs such as 5 series what we have here, 3 series, 4 series guys, so you can find it on multiple vehicles. But if you're trying to find TDC point, top dead center and where to put that pin for top dead center, stay with us and we'll explain guys how to do that. Quick introduction, every single car we get at the shop, including this BMW right here guys, we make more than 200 videos and maybe close to 300 on this one. Why? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys, hopefully you will find the information helpful. Now, if you guys need to buy any of the parts, special tools that we use, any tools, any parts, replacement parts for your car, check out the link in the description of the video below. All that will be shared there guys for your convenience, so check it out. Now, this is it here guys, BMW uh, 5 series, but as I said guys, it will be the same engine on the X1 and X3 with a 4 cylinder twin power turbo engine guys. Okay, this thing right here and this is, uh, okay, this is uh, the tool that uh, we need, okay, for the top dead center. So. Let me, I'm trying to focus so you can see it perfect. This is the tube, guys. This is the engine. Now, let me first explain, guys. When you bring the crankshaft at top dead center, your camshaft, okay, what is top dead center? Let me clarify quick. Top dead center is when the piston on cylinder number one is, is at its highest position and it's right before it starts going down. Uh, but for every two revolutions that the crankshaft does, camshafts do one revolution, guys. So you can be 180 degrees off. You can have the piston at top dead center, but the camshafts may not be. And that could be catastrophic because if you're doing timing chain, guys, and you release it, okay, you can smash pistons, valve, something like that. So don't do it, guys, that way. Now, uh, we'll explain about that towards the end, how the camshafts need to face and all that stuff. But now, guys, okay, you're going to use the crankshaft Okay, the crankshaft bolt right there with a the, with the wrench. Okay, what is that? 20, 22, 22 millimeter, guys. And uh, we're turning the crankshaft clockwise only. Only go only clockwise. Then, okay, that's the not so fun part, guys. What we'll be doing here now, it will be on the left side, rear left side of the engine under the exhaust, guys, on the passenger side. So, I will go underneath, guys, and I will try to explain what we're doing here. So, bear with me, guys. I'm crawling under that thing with camera gear and everything. It's dripping oil everywhere, so pretty much, guys, risking the equipment so I can show you. Hopefully, you appreciate it. Now, check it out. This is your... Uh, right here what we have now this is guys your uh, flywheel this is your transmission housing flywheel is inside Cra uh, the open has been removed so all that is good right but now we're going to come right here guys okay right here and I forgot to show you, so make sure to stay until the end, or, or let me get it quick. There is one plastic plug that uh, we removed, okay, let me grab it from top quick, because I left it there, the plastic cover for the hole, okay, it's coming guys, okay, perfect, I'm coming too somehow, and, okay, this is the cover, okay, this cover right here, so we removed guys the exhaust, okay, we removed the exhaust, and once we remove the exhaust, we lifted it up a little bit, right here, all the way in, there is a place where you put that, uh, where you remove that cover, guys. Okay, you pull it out. Hopefully you can, okay, you can get an idea. Let me, okay, let me see what it looks like. Okay, perfect, like that. So, that's where that cover is, guys. It's on the back side, right there, on the engine block. And after that, guys, I grab the two. Okay, there is a, that pin two, guys, that we'll be using. And now, that's where things get a little bit more complicated. Why? Because I have to find that hole somehow. Okay, with the two. And... I found it from first time. How that happened, I don't know. And you get it in almost kind of like halfway. 
and then you need to find your TDC point guys you turn the engine until that two gets in one hole uh, the hole is on the okay on the flywheel okay you have that hole on the flywheel guys ours is already brought in place but if you look okay if you look through here now with light I cannot show you with the camera you can actually guys okay see the two inside locked in place okay it's locked in place make sure that it goes in the hole the hole will be on the on the flywheel unfortunately that's the best i can do and i don't think i will be able to show you better than that now on top let me explain now once you get it in place okay your crankshaft okay my my microphone got stuck excuse me okay your crankshaft will be stuck guys you will not be able to turn anymore okay you can see because we locked it in place now right here camshafts in order to be a tdc point guys okay top dead center camshaft sprockets need to point towards the right side now this one is a little bit off because our timing change jumped but it will be about like right here this is the device that you will be using you use the special bolts okay to bolt it in okay it bolts in right here on the cylinder head and when it bolts in, okay, you can see that pin locks the cam sprockets. If you're 180 degrees off, that hole will be all the way on this side, 180 off. So we need to turn the crankshaft one more revolution until you get to here. But you get the idea, guys, okay, what's going on. Hopefully, the video will be helpful to any of you guys trying to do that. Thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe to your channel for more videos and see you guys next time.